In this video I want to give you a brief tour of OU Live, but remember that your tutor will be giving you a more in-depth guide to using OU Live at your first session. Before I show you around the OU Live interface, I'd like to advise you how to set up your microphone and speakers. It's important that before participating in a session, you ensure that your audio is configured correctly. Audio settings can be configured using the Audio Setup Wizard. Tutors generally expect you to participate in tutorials by listening to what's being said and by responding to questions, either by typing in your response or by speaking your answer. Many tutors, but not all, prefer to be able to speak and listen to their students during the tutorial and so in this case setting up your audio equipment is essential. The audio setup wizard is accessible here in the audio and video panel or you can access the wizard from the tools menu. From the dialog box choose the device that will play the session audio for example your speakers or your headset click OK then click the play button and adjust the volume slider so that you can hear clearly the pre-recorded message. Click stop and then yes to confirm that you were able to hear the audio. If you are not able to hear the audio click no and repeat the previous step. Then select the device you will use to send your audio during the session. I like to use a headset and in previous versions of this software a headset was necessary. Now that we're using OU Live, you can use the microphone and speakers built into or attached to your computer. But always test the settings here to see which settings give you the best results. If you do want to buy a headset, it doesn't have to be an expensive one, as it's not possible to get high fidelity sound in OU Live. I do, however, recommend that you buy a USB headset. These can be bought relatively cheaply on, for example, Amazon. Now select your input device. Click record and speak into the microphone using your normal speaking voice. Adjust the microphone slider so that it displays green bars with an occasional yellow bar. If you see red bars this indicates that your audio is too loud or your microphone is too close to your mouth. Click play and confirm that you can hear your recorded voice. Then click stop and yes. When setting up the audio on a Mac, the audio setup wizard is slightly different. Mac users cannot change their audio output devices directly in OU Live. Instead, OU Live uses the system default devices. If you wish to use the default microphone and speakers on your Mac, open the audio setup wizard in the same manner by clicking the button and following the instructions given for the PC. If you want to use a different device, click on this icon in the Select Audio Output Device dialog. The Sound Preferences panel has a screen for audio output and a screen for input. Now let's take a look at the rest of the OU Live interface. This is the whiteboard area where tutors will show slides and notes and where when invited you can do the same. The whiteboard area of the screen is where tutors will display tutorial content in a session. These tools allow all users to draw right on the whiteboard area. Multiple users can interact on a page simultaneously and all objects placed on the whiteboard can be edited. Your name appears at the top of the participants panel in the status area as well as in the participants list below it. In both places you'll see information about your permissions, your current activity and your profile. Your tutor's name is displayed at the top of the list above the horizontal rule, followed by all the students who are listed in alphabetical order. You and other students will be able to give feedback to your tutor by using emoticons, stepping away or temporarily leaving the room, raising your hand, participating in a poll or vote, and sending chat messages. You'll even be able to see who is currently using a particular feature by looking at the activity lights. You use the chat area to send text messages to the room and to other individuals. But note that your tutor is able to monitor all messages between participants, including private messages. And now I'd like to show you one other important feature of using OU Live. 
Every online tutorial session will be recorded. This means that even if you miss a scheduled online tutorial session, you will still be able to see what was said in that tutorial by replaying it at a later date. Just go to your Tutors Online tutorial room or the Region 5 Day School room and there you'll see a list of the sessions that have been recorded in that room. Just click on the recording you need and then you can replay the session in your own time. Press play and pause using this button and scroll through the recording using this control. Finally, here are some tips for participating in a session. Find a comfortable place with no distractions. Be sure to join the session 5 to 10 minutes prior to the start. Use the audio setup wizard to ensure that the audio is working correctly prior to your session. Participate in the session by responding to polls and providing feedback to your tutor. Raise your hand when you have a question or a comment. Use chat to send messages to other students and your tutor during the session. Remember that running other applications on your computer can slow your connection. More information about using OU Live and a troubleshooting guide is available. You can type this address into your browser. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching.